Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're out at the range with an American icon. This is the Model 37. They call it a trench gun, even though it was first used during the Second World War. Uh, it, you can tell it from its other Model 37 counterparts by this heat shield across the barrel, and then, of course, this bayonet mount. We'll, again, show you this shotgun again in a later video. This is just out of the box, first time shooting it video, just because I'm so excited to have it. AIM Surplus has these for $9.99, and that's where I picked this shotgun up from. It has beautiful walnut furniture on it and a very nice military park finish. This thing is exactly like the original military shotguns that are now collector's items. The Model 37, it was when I was a kid growing up in the 80s, was a staple uh, in, in the Midwest. I mean, almost everybody had the Ithaca uh, Model 37. I think they called it the lightweight or the featherweight. And what makes these shotguns different than other shotguns you might see on the market, of course, it's a pump action, but you'll notice there's no ejection port on the gun. That's because it loads and ejects the spent casings through the bottom of the shotgun. It's ingenious. The soldiers that carried these, especially in Vietnam, which was a very harsh environment, loved these shotguns. And Again, me as a kid, I absolutely have always wanted one. The original trench guns in this configuration are worth a ton of money and very rarely come up for sale. So having the opportunity to own this replica, which is manufactured by Inland Manufacturing, but they're worth working with um, Ithaca out of Ohio. So they're working with Ithaca to bring this gun back. And what they've said is they've worked very hard to get exact details correct for this replica. And from what I can see and from what I can find online, everything is spot on. It's a simply beautiful shotgun. So hopefully it works as good as it looks. Um, it uses a Model 1917 long bayonet. Basically, it looks like a sword. I don't have one, but I did find one on eBay. Uh, I won the bid on it, got it for a very reasonable price. And so in our next video, when we play with the shotgun, do a little bit more in-depth video with it, uh, I will have that bayonet. Maybe we'll even do a bayonet charge. But anyway, to load this shotgun up, let's just go quickly over some of the, the features, right? So we have the bayonet lug out here. You can take this off. There's three screws that slides over the barrel, and it just, it's a pinch tensioner. Help these th the three screws hold it tightly in place. Loosen these, you can actually take it off. Then you have the wooden forend, you have a four shot magazine tube underneath the barrel, and of course it's 12 gauge. This is your ejection port and loading port. Then you have a simple cross block safety here on the trigger, and then a walnut stock, and then you have a sling swivel back here. On the rear, you just have a very simple hard plastic butt stock plate, right? Shoulder plate. So to make the weapon safe, you push the safety to your right which makes the trigger inoperable to put it on fire. You just simply reach down, push the button, and now the weapon's ready to fire. Right here in front of my index finger is the bolt release. So you grab this, and that will allow you to open the action. All right, so to load it, you close it. And what we have out here today are some Winchester military buckshot loads. And uh, it, it works out really well because this gun total will hold five rounds. Boy, I'm pulling a balancing act there. We'll take the five rounds out of the box here. These are really cool. These were sent to us by our friends over at Freedom Munitions. Shake them out here so I can get to them. So you can see that they're blacked out and then OD green. And it's double lot buck, nine pellets, I believe. I think it's, yeah, it even has it written on the side. And so to load the shotgun, make sure your bolt's home and you load four into the tube. Four, and then pump it. Oh, safety. All right. <laughs> so we're just gonna fire four rounds because <laughs> I dropped one for my homies on the other side of the bridge. All right, so then take the safety off and shoulder this. This is buckshot, so it's gonna have a little bit of recoil. We have our challenge target downrange at 50 yards, and it's got some recoil, but a lot of those pellets actually landed on target. I'm seeing a muzzle flash when this thing goes off. Now watch when it ejects here, guys. I'll, I'll do it to the side. Wow, man, it heaves that, that uh, spent case. Oh, and I got one more. It really heaves that spent case out of the shotgun. So, wow, what a smooth action. Man, I haven't shot one of these since the 80s, guys. When I was younger, I did have a Model 37. I think it was the Featherweight. I could be screwing that up, but um, I love that shotgun. I don't even know what I did with it, to be honest with you. I, um, 
I want to say I probably traded it for something. That's what I did when I was younger. So close the action. Go ahead and put the weapon on safe. And then you just load four rounds. Two, three, and four. Take safety off. Put one in the tube. Put the safety back on. One in the pipe, I should say. And now I have four rounds loaded in the magazine and one in, in, the, uh, in the tube. And now let's shoot five shots of this bad boy. All right, and I was rocking Mr. Challenge Target down there at 50 yards. Wow, that's a cool shotgun. Jason, you gotta shoot this thing, man. This is awesome. Yep, I'm in love. So smooth. It's like buttery action right out of the box. A lot of times you'll get a new shotgun and a little bit rough, like my 870 that I had when I was a kid. After years and years and years of use, it's just buttery smooth. This thing is just silk right out of the box. Oh, I'm so in love with this thing. All right, Jason, you got to shoot this. Right, guys our texas star one wheel has five little targets with two wheels we have 10 targets but we only have five shells so i'm going to see if i can clear the star by knocking two plates off with one shot five times if that makes any sense so here we go well i already lost come on get two together Oh, there's got two. <laughs> oh, close. Three left. <laughs> that was fun. But yeah, so I can't clear 10 stars with five shots. Gonna go ahead and load it up again. So I'm gonna put the safety on, close the bolt. And I'm gonna load four into the tube. Magazine, two, three, four, pump it, and put my fifth one in. So we're gonna walk up here to about 15 yards away from a man-sized target. This shotgun, guys, would have been popular in you know, the South Pacific and in the jungles of Vietnam. A weapon like this can put a lot of lead down range very quickly, even though it's limited to five rounds. We're shooting double lot buck, so imagine fighting in the confines of a jungle, having the enemy spring up on you as close as 15 yards away. It would be a pretty good idea to have a guy in your, in your squad or in, in, you know, that's on patrol with you to have a weapon like this, or maybe a couple of guys, because you can respond very quickly to threats, and you can put a lot of lead down range really quickly for a short moment, giving your teammates time to take cover and respond. So we're about 15 yards away from an actual challenge target that's a man size, it's a full man torso. And so I'm just gonna snap shoot as if a threat presents itself. I'm just gonna bring the shotgun up and fire and see what it patterns like. So here we go. So I just brought it up, put that bead center of mass, that's all we have. So we have a traditional serrated top here on the receiver, and then we just have a bead up here for aiming. So as you can see, all rounds hit, and look at that perfect dispersion, guys. It's like a perfect circle. All nine rounds hit him right dead center of mass. That's gonna put a bad guy down fast. So again, that thing just heaves those empties out. Threat presents itself, and again, dead center, all rounds hit at 15 yards. Let's just go up and take a look, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and put the safety on. Wow, after you pull that trigger, you can't, so I'm gonna pump it then the safety will go on. We're gonna try something else here for you guys, I'll show you. 
so if you hold the trigger back on these things, all the guys are asking when I posted a picture on Instagram, does it, does it fire if you hold the trigger back and just pump it? We'll answer that question momentarily. But look at this dispersion, guys. I'm aiming right here with the bead, and it's going exactly where I want it to. All rounds hitting in a perfect circle. That is impressive. And that would hurt. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. So let's take a step back. And I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to fire two rounds. I'm going to pump it and hold the trigger back. And you'll see what happens when I hold that trigger back. All right? Fire, pump it. And I'm holding the trigger back. You'll notice it didn't fire. Okay? But I'm squeezing the trigger. I release the trigger. I have nothing. Dead trigger. So you have to release the trigger after you fire. Otherwise, if you keep the trigger pulled to the rear and pump it, you're going to kick the empty out. But now, I don't even have to hit the release. It's, you just wasted a live round. Okay? You can top the shot, uh, shotgun off. So holding a trigger back does not yield the results you're hoping for, like the old Model 12s and the original Model 37s. You can't just hold that trigger back and pump. The gun's not going to fire. You have to release the trigger, but that's a natural thing to do. So you can fire very quickly anyway. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I forgot. I only have five rounds. So anyway, I was like, why? Didn't it go off? But anyway, there you have it, guys. What a fun little piece of history. I am madly in love with this shotgun, in case you can't tell. Some of you guys had said, well, that looks like it's going to cut your hand up pretty bad there on the ventilated handguard. And so far, I've had no problems with my fingers getting caught by any of that. And this action, just in the few rounds that we fired, the action has smoothed out quite a bit just in, gosh, maybe 60 rounds fired or so. Yeah, very, very, very cool shotgun. All right, let's have a little bit of fun with this buckshot in the Model 37. All right, got some more rounds over here. Ugh, get in there. Got six targets. I'm gonna have to load one here. These things aren't the fastest guns in the world to load. I think that's four. Yep, you can only get four in there. And... <laughs> oh, this gun's fun, man. This is cool. <laughs> I'm getting oil or something sprayed on one lens. But this thing is buttery smooth. It has smoothed out so much since we took it out of the box. And it was already smooth then. This thing, perfect function. If you short stroke it, it'll hang up just a little bit. I think I had that happen when we first started off. You want to make sure you fully stroke it. But even if you don't, you can still recover from it. Um, some shotguns, if you don't give them a full stroke and, and you short stroke the shotguns, it'll jam it up. This little thing doesn't care. Just come back and start again, and it'll put it right back up there in the barrel where it should be. What a fun piece of history. Yep, Jason loves his 410 Sega. This is my dream shotgun. I'm not a big shotgun guy, but this was a definite bucket list item. I was hoping it would be this, this nice, and it has not disappointed me at all. I hope you guys enjoyed coming out this afternoon and basically doing a quick function check of my new Ithaca Model 37 12 gauge shotgun. It is being offered by Inland Manufacturing, and it's being offered in conjunction with Ithaca. So they're working together to make it. Now I know what you guys are thinking. It's what I thought when I first saw them for sale. When I see reproduction, I think cheap Chinese knockoff. I had one of the 1887 lever action Chinese shotguns. Send it back. It was not what I expected. It was horrible. I mean, just gritty machine marks all over. It wasn't the fine 1887s I've played with that were originals. This is not a cheap Chinese knockoff. This thing's made right here in the United States. The quality of this is every bit as good is the, or the Model 37s I remember using as a kid. The quality may even be better. I mean, this thing is beautifully fit. The walnut furniture fits perfectly to the receiver, has a beautiful parked finish on it. And when we took it out of the box, 
even brand new. It still had a silky smooth pump action to it, but after spraying a little bit of rim oil on it, and we put over 100 rounds of double-lot buck through it this afternoon, the action on this thing is buttery smooth. So for $9.99, I actually think it's a good value. At first, I was uncertain. I didn't know what to expect. Now, guys, Ithaca's back through Inland Manufacturing, and if you've ever wanted a Model 37, especially a historic trench gun like this, I highly recommend it. What a fun shotgun. You'll see it again here on the Military Arms channel. I do plan on, like I said, I won a bayonet for it on eBay, and next time you see it, it'll have a sword attached to the barrel. We'll have some fun with that. If you'd like to support us here at the Military Arms channel, please swing by and check us out over on Patreon. Over on Patreon, we do live streams for our squad leaders and above. We do giveaways to everybody. We do t-shirt giveaways. This is Forged from Freedom. Uh, we do Forged from Freedom giveaways, five shirts a month. We do giveaways of items from video shoots, just random things from on the live streams. We give away shirts and stuff that we sign. We try to give something back to you guys for supporting us. Also, please swing by and check out ForgeFromFreedom.com. You can pick up a shirt over there that supports the channel, but if you're a Patreon supporter, you get a 15% discount on all sh shirts that you buy. Also, CopperCustom.com is our online store. They do blowout specials for our Patreons, so you'll find prices over on Patreon from Copper Custom that are below uh, map pricing, and we try to get the lowest prices we possibly can for you guys. So, all the way around, we're just trying to give something back to you guys for directly supporting us here since YouTube cut us off a long time ago. All right, guys, the last five rounds. We'll put her away until next time, and we have that bayonet installed. Here we go. Man, look how smooth that is. Wow, what a fun shotgun. And it throws those empties like an AK-47 out the bottom. I may put this in the truck and not carry around an AR-15 anymore. I am so in love with this little thing. <laughs> and I don't typically like shotguns. That's what's funny. Bye, guys.